babes. Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to get it to work. There we go. So I don't get red flags on every single case that happens, right? So this case, I want to point out some red flags that have happened. Um, this is a baby. Caroline Nicholson says she never gave anyone permission to come and pick up Amari. She says Rose did not give Amari to the woman. She took him and just wants him back safe. In this whole story, it sounds confusing. It sounds like we're lying. It sounds... First thing she says is, sounds like we're lying. No, just watch. <clears throat> Nothing should be confusing. Okay? Just watch. It's like, you know, it's, it's a whole... Like, you know, and she looks away. It's, it's just a big confusion. Now, Amari's biological father, who lives in Reno, talked to Fox 5 last night, and this is what he said about yeah. Amari's disappearance. I don't know where he is, and she don't know. And the police don't know. So he's kidnapped. He's not kidnapped. I know this. In my heart, he's not. Here, let's go to, um, it was, it once, it said part two. Uh, where's part two? Uh, where is it? Here. First, we're not even going to concentrate on him because, oh, good Lord, he is, what I'm feeling is he's the one in control, okay? Watch her face the whole entire time. Watch her eyes the whole entire time. Basically just took off. Nicholson says she missed Rhodes' call. No, I was still asleep, so my phone, I, I didn't hear the first few calls until it was already too late. Now, this is where things get a little confusing. The mother tells me she and Rhodes got into an argument about her being away from Vegas. So we know there's an argument now. And told him someone would be stopping by, but didn't say exactly who and didn't say why they were coming over. But you didn't know her, though, correct? You've never seen her? So you didn't, did you not know this person you're letting take Amari away? I mean, from my knowledge, I already, um... Okay. Mm -mm -mm. His body language? Lies. Lie, lie, lie. Everything, I, lie, okay? Her body language is he knows her. She don't. He knew her, whoever this woman is, she don't. So if there is no woman, right, because that's what I'm thinking, he did something to that baby and then helped, made her, like, coerce this whole thing. Look, it's creepy. She was told, like, someone was going to stop by, somebody was going to, but I never knew who. So I still have that in my head now she's looking at them like, do y'all believe it? Do y'all believe it? Somebody was coming by. But bottom line, Nicholson says she never gave anyone permission to come and pick up Amari. She's for him and basically just took off. Nicholson says she met. Why is she so calm? Why is he so calm? Because these are lies. What the hell is going on? Hold on. I want to watch some more. Anyone has heard anything about two-year-old Amari Nicholson? Panic mode, freaking out, crying, screaming, just, my baby's gone. Amari Did you see that smirk she had? Ugh. His mother, Taylor Nicholson, says she got the news her son was missing on Wednesday while she was in Colorado taking care of her mother who was attacked by a dog. Okay, so I was right. I don't feel like she was there when it happened. She left Amari with her boyfriend, who considers Amari his son, at the Emerald Suites near the Strip. Now, he says... Okay, so it's not even his father. Oh, jeez. Wednesday, just after 6 a.m., someone knocked on the door. And it was a woman saying that she was her baby daddy's sister. And she said she was there to pick up my stepson. Terrell Rowe. So you don't even know. What? That don't even make sense. That sounds like a complete lie. He, oh no. But says she called Amari's mom in Colorado. I turned around to call her to tell her if, if this is, is, are this true? Is Was this really prearranged? Are this true? And as I'm... Mm. 
I want to hear that again. It, slip, it sound like almost a slip up. Are you okay? What are you doing? Don't put that in your mouth, baby. Are you okay? Are you alright? Hold on, sorry. Doing that, she says she don't need anything from us. If anyone has heard anything about two-year-old Amari Nicholson? Panic mode, freaking out, Watch crying, her face. screaming, just my baby's gone. Amari's mother. Why would what that face, man? That smirk. Wonder if there's anything else on him. You can tell they're sketchy. How yeah? Without your son, what's what's going through your mind? You're devastated and hoping for the best of his safe return, and you're trying to find him. Yeah, I mean, he knows he's gone already. Look at his look at his body language. He knows he's gone. That little boy is gone. And he knows, look how sad and guilty he looks. He don't look sad, he looks guilty. He's that slunch. And she almost looks like it's a relief. Your thoughts go to like a mountain. The father's this is two days now. Alright, this is this is crazy. For this two-year-old, Amari That's the real Nicholson problem. is intensifying. This place he was seen was on Paradise near Sands Avenue yesterday afternoon. That's more than 25 hours ago. Tonight, the family's offering a $20,000 reward for his safe return. Fox News' Lauren Martinez joins us live with the latest on the search for Amari. Jacqueline and John, Amari Nicholson's on first contacted our newsroom about his disappearance. Metro has not released wow. any other information other than that they were asking the public to come forward. Now, there are a lot of conflicting stories from the family, but everyone is just hoping for Amari's safe return. It's my baby boy. It's my baby boy. It's my baby boy. Yeah. Aww. Sergio Hayes' two-year-old son is missing. Las Vegas police say Amari Nicholson was last seen Wednesday afternoon near Paradise Road. It's a baby. Tonight. Ooh, that storm drain gave me the creeps. Ooh. All right, I gotta go. I love you, babes, babes. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I'm here by myself. <laughs> but happy Mother's Day.